everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Yesterday turned out to be a very good day for a little lady, too. And in the evening, when I was done with the video, I watched her for a while. She was pacing back and forth and back and forth, and then I got busy. And when I looked out again, it was dark outside, and she was no longer pacing back and forth. So I said to Jim, let's go check, see where she went. Because if she was sleeping on the ground, I was going to bring her in. I don't want her on the ground. But she wasn't on the ground. He used his little red light. He has a little light that can be red, and they can't really see. It doesn't disturb them. So we opened up the nesting box on the outside, and she was up in that. And she had to hop up onto the little dog kennel, then hop up on the shelf, and then go into the nesting box. And she made it all by herself. So she apparently is able to jump pretty good now. And then this morning when she was getting out, I watched. I saw her standing on the dog kennel. She stood there and stood there, and a little one jumped down, then another little one jumped down, another little one was next to her and looked like it was going to jump down, and then she jumped down, and I expected her to fall when she jumped, but she didn't. She stayed on her feet, and she walked away. So she's doing very, very, very good. Mm -hmm. Did I say very good? Yes. <laughs> She's doing very good. And I also had a question about St. Joseph. Why did I bury him? Well, it was said in my earlier videos where people were telling me that that's what they did to sell the property. They would bury St. Joseph on the property, but they'd bury him upside down. Now, I didn't want to go to the house and bury him by the sign. So I just put him in a plant in the dirt upside down in a baggie because I didn't want him to get dirty. And the plant was facing the direction that the house is that I wanted to sell. Well, the house actually sold. It was one month from the day I buried St. Joseph. It was actually, they said that they were going to buy it. Then the because of the COVID or the blue booger, I don't even know if I can put the other word in, because of the blue booger, mm -hmm. um, those people decided that they didn't want to because they couldn't get their building inspector to come out because of this crazies in the world. So they decided that they didn't want the house. Well, then within another two weeks, another buyer had stepped up and wanted the house. But because <clears throat> they chose a lawyer, excuse me, they chose a lawyer that was dragging his feet, really dragging his feet. So it took a long time. It would have been, the house would have been gone probably a month after it was actually put on the market. And I put it on the market Valentine's Day, February 14th. So you've, and if it just, papers just got signed September, today's the 18th, mm -hmm. September 17th, probably 16th at 16th. night, 16th it got, and I found out on the 17th that it was sold. So it took it a lot longer because of the crazies in the world. I also have a little tiny, real tiny, my daughter, granddaughter kept saying, can I get the GoPro? Um, I had a, a telemarketer call, <laughs> and she she loves videotaping it, and so I said she could get it, and she got it, and this, so I'm going to put a little snippet of that in. It says Village Electric. Village Electric, see, I told you. I think I can't see with my spectacles? Okay, ma'am. Thank you for your time. Take oh, care. Oh, you're bye -bye. welcome. Goodbye. The telemarketer wanted to talk to my, my because I was giving him such a hard time at the beginning. She, he says he wanted to talk to the granddaughter. And so and then he starts saying to her that she should have a refund coming. <laughs> and it's like... I says, why would she have a refund? She's only, t and I go, how old are you? And she goes, 12. I think she said 12. I think so, yeah. Yeah. And it's like, she doesn't have a refund. And he goes, and he goes, well, what? And then um, you'll, you heard what I said. It was the electric bill. Mm. And and she said it was the electric bill. <laughs> and it was, he's just, he was just impossible. And he didn't like the fact that I was being impossible. I, he couldn't get a number out of me. He couldn't get a, he couldn't get a, uh, company out of me because there was no company to tell I just kept saying it was a local company and the and mm -hmm. it, it is it's the local company I don't have a company name so 
And the and it was funny because I just gave a random number. And he goes, real funny, lady. Because <laughs> it was only two numbers, and apparently I looked at it, and there's a whole lot more numbers than two. And I said to him, and then I said, and I had used the number th 33. And then I said, there is a three in it. And and he just kind of says, funny, lady. I says, I says, what, you don't believe me? And then he went on to say, give it to your granddaughter. So my granddaughter took over then. But it was it was like... He didn't want to believe me anymore, which is okay because I wasn't believing him either. So, and then we did homeschooling today, and I had all four. I had four of the kids, and two of them are spending the night. The other two will come back again tomorrow. They're younger, and they didn't want to spend the night, so they'll go home, and then their mom will drop them off in the morning, and then they'll spend the day with me. And we gathered eggs. Brianna wanted to gather eggs, and we got five eggs today. She loves to gather the eggs. And so, and she played on the little bit of the, on the keyboard because she had to do her music. And they wanted to see my mealworms and they go, phew, they smell. Yeah, they do smell a little bit. Mm -hmm. They're starting to smell a little and I don't know, understand why. Other than they're bugs. <laughs> but there's a lot of them in there. And they're, they're going, now they're going back to the pupae stage. And so there's a few beetles, a few worms, and a lot of pupae. And so pretty soon there'll be tons of beetles again. And I'll have to change it again and add more food. And the the, the pattern cycle. will cycle. Yeah, we'll start all over again. Well, that's the video for today. Hope you enjoyed it. And I thank you all for watching. And I will catch you all tomorrow. So, bye-bye.